watoto hamjambo mnaendeleaje lakini karibuni sana kwenye leseni yetu ya kwanza ya kota ya nne. mada yetu siku ya leo ni amka msichana ati nimesema nini amka msichana vizuri sana fungu litakalo tuongoza natoka kwenye kitabu cha nataka sasa urudie nyuma yangu ninapokuongoza kulikariri uko tayari aha sema Yohana watatu mhm mm Yohana watatu mbili tena Yohana watatu mbili linasema naomba ufanikiwe katika yote na kuwa na afya yako tena watoto naomba ufanikiwe katika yote na kuwa na afya yako mhm mm sasa tujaribu kufuza kutoka mwanzo hadi mwisho uko tayari aha tuanze Yohana watatu mbili linasema naomba ufanikiwe katika yote na kuwa na afya yako aha usahau ilo fungu mtoto nianze kwa kukuuliza je umboe kuwa na mtu wenu ambaye unayempenda ambaye alianza kuugua labda akawa anaumwa na kichwa anasema kichwa ama akawa anaumwa na tumbo au akawa anaumwa na mahali popote umboe kuwa na mtu wenu wa karibu ambaye ameugua aha katika hadithi yetu tutaona kuna mtu katika hadithi yetu aliweza kuugua nitaambia kilifanyika nini lakini kabla nitaka tuweze kuomba ha tuombe tunakushukuru Mungu wetu kwa vile umekupendeza tuweze kusikia hadithi yetu ya kwanza katika leseni yetu ya kota hii ya nne. Tunakuomba roho wako mtakatifu aweze kuwa ndiye mwalimu wetu. Katika jina la Yesu tumeomba. Amen. Watoto, kukaa wana mtu mmoja aliyekuwa anaitwa Jairus. Alikuwa anaitwa nani? Aha, na unafuatilia hadithi ya mtoto mzuri, Jairus. Jairus alikuwa mtu mashuhuri wakati ule kokoto waliko kuwa wanaishi alikuwa mashuhuri vipi yeye alikuwa mmoja wa walimu katika yale masinagogi masinagogi wakati ule yalikuwa ni kama makanisa siku yetu uh, makanisa siku ya leo katika makanisa yetu kuna kuwa na nyadhi vitengo mbalimbali kuna kuwa na mchungaji ambaye anaongoza kanisa wazee wa makanisa uh, mashemazi kuna kuwa na viongozi wata, uh, wa, viongozi mbalimbali wa kina mama wa watoto mambo kama hayo sasa Yaero alikuwa mmoja wa wale walikuwa waliokuwa viongozi katika sinagogi masinagogi ya wakati ule. Yaero huyu alikuwa ameheshimika sana kwa kazi yake ya kufanya kazi katika sinagogi kama nilivyowaambia. Hata hivyo siku moja mtoto wake alikuwa na mtoto wa kike msichana. Akawa anaugua. Na alipoanza kuugua akaanza kufikishiwa ripoti akaambiwa msichana wako anaugua na akashangaa aka, aka nitafanya nini na akawa anajaribu ku, ku, kumpeleka hospitali kutoka hospitali moja ama nyingine ama nyingine lakini hata hivyo matibabu hayo hayakuweza kufua dafu na hivyo sasa ika, ikawa siku moja yaero akitoka nyumbani akamwacha akiwa ameugua bado mtoto anasema naumwa dadi naumwa naumwa babake kasa sasa nitafanya nini hata hivyo watoto kule ambako yaero alikuwa anaishi Alikuwa amesikia fununu kuwa kuna mtu ambaye anaponya mtu huyu anaitwa Yesu na hivyo akasema vile nimejaribu kutafuta matibabu katika hospitali zote kwa watu wote ningeweza nimeshindwa nitamtafuta huyu mtu mmoja ambaye nimwambia anaitwa nani watoto aha Yesu na hivyo Yaero akaweza kwenda kumtafuta Yesu na alipokuwa anaenda kumtafuta Yesu hakujua yuko wapi kwa hivyo akanaulizia yuko wapi Yesu leo aka upande upi na mwisho akaweza kupata hata kushinda akiulizia alipona umati mkubwa umefuata akajua hmm lazima yule iwe yule wanayefuata ni Yesu na hivyo alipofika kwenye umati ulipokuwa akagundua kuwa ah Yesu ndiye yuko pale anafunza na hivyo akaenda moja kwa moja akapenya akapenya kumbuka ni umati mkubwa uko pale akapenya pole 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 akaweza kufikia mahali Yesu alipokuwa na alipofika pale akaweza kumwambia Yesu naomba Naomba umsaidie mtoto wangu wa, wangu uweze kumponya amekuwa akiugua. Yesu akamwambia usiwe na shaka. Nataka sasa tuandamane moja kwa moja hadi kwako tuende kumuona yule msichana wako. Na hapo wakaanza safari yao. Wanaenda wapi watoto? Kwa kina nani? Ah, kwa kina mzee Yaero au au Jairus. Na wakienda wakielekea pale, kumbuka ni umati mkubwa wanaandamana Yesu Yaero wanaandamana moja kwa moja, wanatembea mwendo wa aste aste wakienda kwa Yaero kabla jafika kukaja mtu mmoja mbio 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 akitoka nyumbani 
akambia la analia anatiriko na machozi anatiriko na machozi yaro akamuza kinini kimetokea akamwambia hata hata usishinde ukija nyumbani mtoto wako ameaga dunia ha unafikiria dadi alijihisi vipi dadi akawa na uzini akajihisi ameishiwa na nguvu akaambia Yesu Yesu atakuna haja ya kwenda mtoto wangu alikuwa anakuita ukamponye ama hata ameaga Yesu akamwambia Yaero usiwe na shaka twende tu hadi nyumbani walipofika pale nyumbani walikuta sasa watu wameshapata taarifa kuwa mtoto ameweza kuaga dunia umati mkubwa umekusanyika kule nje wanalia mama ya mtoto analia mtoto wangu majirani wanalia wote wanalia mtoto ameweza kulala na hapo Uh, yesu akaweza kuambia watu waliokuwa naomboleza akauliza mtoto yuko wapi akaambiwa amelazwa akaambiwa amelala kwenye chumba akaonyeshwa chumba ambacho mtoto alipokuwa amelala na alipoonyeshwa akaweza kuambia watu waliokuwa pale naomba muweze kutoka nje lakini hata hivyo akabaki na yaero ambaye alikuwa baba ya mtoto akabaki na mama mtoto na wanafunzi wengine watatu ndani na alipopaki nao akaweza kufunga macho akaweza kuomba akaweza kuomba mtoto aweze kufufuka na akaweza kumshika yule msichana mkono akaweza kumuita akamwambia msichana msichana mdogo simama ah msichana akafungua macho akaweza kumtazama Yesu akawa amefufuka watoto msichana akawa amefufuka unafikiria mamake alijihisi vipi mamake alimkumbatia akawa analia machozi ya furaha msichana wake ameweza kurudi hai na watu waliokuwa pale wako wamefurahi mtoto ameweza kurudi hai watoto Hadithi ya leo inatufunza nini? Ujumbe tu siku ya leo unasema, tunamtumikia Mungu tunapowaombea wanaougua. Watoto, kila wakati tunapopata mtu ambaye anaugua, awe dadi mami au yule mnayeishi naye, anapougua unamuombea. Hiyo ni njia moja kumtumikia Mungu. Ha, watoto. Wakati wa maswali, nisikie kama ulikuwa unafuatilia hadithi yetu siku ya leo. Uko tayari? Aha, swali la kwanza watoto. Fungu letu la kukariri. Tuko kwenye kitabu kipi? Aha. Aha, umepata Yohana watatu, mbili. Umepata. Swali la pili watoto. Katika hadithi yetu siku ya leo ilisema amka msichana. Hiyo ndiyo iliyokuwa mada yetu. Swali ni ni msichana wa nani huyo aliyekuwa aliambiwa amke? Alikuwa wa nani? Aha, vizuri. Wa Jairus au Yairo. Swali tatu la mwisho watoto. Ninataka unijazie deshi tumesema katika ujumbe wetu tunamtumikia nani tunapowaombea wanaougua tunamtumikia nani nionyeshe kwa mkono aha mungu na hivyo ni ombi langu siku leo tunapoenda kuomba tuweze kumtumikia mungu haya tuombe baba na mungu wetu tunakushukuru sana kwa vile umetufunza kwa hadithi ya leo kuwa unaponya na hata kufufua ulifufua tusaidie tuweze kuendelea kukutumikia tunapowaombea wanaougua katika jina la Yesu tumeomba amen Hadi leseni jayo kwa heri. My name is Ethan Olwenya. I come from Bamburi North Great News. I have a memory verse. My memory verse comes from the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9. It says, then the Lord stretched out his hand, touched my lips and said to me, listen. I have given you the words you must speak. My name is Emanuela. My name is Karin. A memory verse comes from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. The Bible says, I will hear you through Christ. When I sentence you. Amen. Jina yangu naitwa Lina Kambuka. I am a girl. I am 6 years old. I have a memory verse. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25. It says, "No more lying. They each of you must tell the truth." to one another because we are all members in the body of Christ.
Jesus will I know more of his love to others show more of his tenderness and his care more of his love I want to hear more about Jesus will I know more of his love to others show His tenderness and His care, more of His love. I want to hear. Tell me the story, more of Jesus, who died for me and washed my sins. What kind of mercy the Son of God had upon us to make us all? Jesus, who died for me and washed my sins, what kind of mercy the Son of God had upon us to make us Crucified, my Lord, on the cross. What kind of pain that Jesus paid? It was for you and me to be saved. At Calvary, He washed my sins. Then crucified, my Lord, on the cross. What kind of pain that Jesus paid? For you and me to be saved At Calvary, He washed my sins Tell me the story, more of Jesus Who died for me and washed my sins What kind of mercy the Son of God Had upon us to make us all story, more of Jesus, who died for me and washed my sins. What kind of mercy the Son of God had upon us to make us all? Tell me the story, more of Jesus, who died for me and washed my sins. Kind of mercy the Son of God had upon us to make us all. Tell me the story, more of Jesus, who died for me and washed my sins. What kind of mercy the Son of God had upon us?